I got a ripped ring 16 by 16 by 20. And I made some adjustment <clears throat> right here. This is my generation, and look, they, look how big they are. Uh, I'm so proud of you guys. Look, they're already on, on third and star, that one right there. I had to pass, pass from the, the Great Lakes horn worm over here. Here's the, one of the Great Lakes horn worms. And most of the Great Lakes homeowners are in are, are are pupating now and finish their feeding their feeding sack. So one is pupating right here. We'll go that booty. <laughs> Those two right there are they haven't been they've been I don't know if these still alive or on diet pause or or pretty much dead. I I hope they're not dead. And also, some of the Great Lakes ones are in here too. I put a bowl of moss right here so they can be lively in here. <laughs> you don't necessarily have to have a live plant in here. Pretty much, the, the female moths will lay eggs just about anywhere. And I put a, I put a tin. I put the little feet. The, took the pet off of the, <clears throat> the secondary heater off and then I put it down underneath here <clears throat> so I cleaned out this one the, the, the food from them um, because they're pretty much done the great legs hormones guys they're pretty much done and look at the babies again there were some that were behind on the inside and see this guy right here this guy I think he's ready to go into the bowl right he's good ready to go into the food the food thing uh, we really like in business guys I've cooked up and made my own hornworm chow um, we'll I will talk about I'll talk about it in another video this guy's looking like he's ready to he's ready to go to the other bowl right he's already molted out and stuff these three guys will stay until they become this size that's pretty much yeah but there has been some die-offs so you know, some of them would just die, you know what I mean? They, I mean, when it comes to that transition from, you know, when they're going on pre pupate, <laughs> some of them would die off. Um, I, t I talked about, I talked to some people too. So I'm probably, I'm really happy with this setup right here. The wild moths are going to be awesome. Little little guy, we're gonna get you into the the we're gonna get you into the big bowl. All right, carrots. You can feed them carrots too. It's a gut load food. It'll make it'll help them grow um, bigger. Maybe maybe next child recipe I go I um make or something. I might put carrots in it or something. <laughs> <laughs>